Good morning viewers. I have a piece of amethyst here that I want to cut. It's kind of got a, a unique shape to it. So I'm trying to figure out how to go about cutting this piece for the maximum yield. And it has inclusions in this area so that's not usable. So I'm going to look at it some more and uh, decide my plan of action and take it to the, uh, the grinding machine. And I'm thinking uh, it might make a uh, square to rectangular shaped stone. I don't know how the color is going to turn out with it because the color seems to be up down into this area, not in the, the culet area. It seems to be kind of more clear in the culet area. And that's where I really want the color to be down in the culet, the pavilion. But it's, it's higher up on this stone, the color zone. But anyway, uh, I'm going to do the best I can with it. See if we can turn out something halfway decent. Okay, here I've preformed the stone. Okay, next I'm going to put it on the dop stick. I'm going to cut this design once again. And it's a variation of the old mine cut by Mr. Archivan. Here I'm setting the stone size when I cut the girdle. Okay, at this point I've gotten all the pavilion facets pre-polished with 3000 grit diamond and I used a zinc lap for that. Okay, here I'm polishing. I've just done this facet. Now I'm going to change to the next one and do it the one to the left. Okay, that facet is done. might just need a little bit more. Alright, now the uh, polishing is completed. The pavilion is finished, so I'll transfer the gem. Okay, the transfer is complete. Once the glue dries, I can start cutting the crown.
my girdle with this cut. This is cut at 34.14 degrees. Okay, I'm working on the crown facets. The crown facets have all been cut, and uh, I've cut with a 600 lightning lap, which leaves a very smooth finish. Okay, I'm now uh, pre-polishing with the 8000 grit lap. All pre-polishing is complete. The next step will be final polishing using a cerium oxide lap. Then I'll cut the table at, on the final, final cutting sequence. The tables always last, almost every time. Okay, I've got the gemstone completely polished. The only thing I've got left to do now is cut and polish the table facet. I used a cerium oxide lightning lap polishing disc and the polishing went very fast and I didn't have any problems. I've had some uh, viewers ask questions about how I set up the machine and adjust it. So I'm going to uh, set the machine for uh, cutting the table right now. That would mean uh, setting the angle at 45 degrees, the index at 96, putting in the 45 degree table adapter, and also setting the height of the the head and uh, adjusting it on the mast. So I'll start with uh, setting the uh, angle. I'm going to set this to 45 degrees. Tighten the lock screw. Now the stone is at 45 degrees. Now I'm going to set my index setting at 96. Now I've got to insert the uh, 45 degree adapter. That means removing this, the stone from the machine. Putting in the adapter. Insert the stone and dock. Now I've got to uh, get the height right. This is how I adjust a facetron. I support the head, loosen the locking lever, raise it with my hand. And now I can lock. And notice I have a piece of paper here to keep from scratching the stone. Even though it's the table, it wouldn't hurt now, but at other times, you can make a mark on your stone if it, uh, if it touches and drags onto a lap if you have a finished surface. Okay, now I've got to uh, move the stone back with this lever here. And now I'm ready to start cutting the table. I always lift the stone off the lap when I start. Our nut loosens, so I gotta tighten that. Turn on your water. Grip. Spread the water out. Now I'm ready to start fasting. Check for the progress. Get a new piece of paper. I'm 
lowering this down. You can watch the needle. This is how far I'm going down. I'm polishing the table and this is the final step on this gemstone. Okay, the gemstone's finished. I'll take it off the dock and we'll look it over. Okay, there we have it. color turned out better than I thought it would. It's got some really good color to it. Right on the white paper. Well, let's see what it weighs. Eight and a half carats. Eight, eight carats.